What's up everyone? Welcome to my channel where I talk about faith, locks, and more. Today I'm going to be doing something different. I want to put my hair, actually I need to put my hair up in a protective style. It's going to be, let's call it, a style and chat where I'm going to talk to you about some mistakes that I've made throughout my lock journey. I'm also going to be trying to put my hair up in a protective style. If you're interested in learning more about the mistakes that I've made through my lock journey and you also want to see how I plan out my protective styles then feel free to watch this video so my hair right now I'm gonna show you what it looks like at the end of this month I would have been um, one year locked can you believe I mean I can't believe it I feel like the journey has gone fast but slow at the same time so my, right now I have an old braid out and I'm just gonna spray my hair with um, some water and I want to share some things with you so one of the mistakes that I made I'll start off by talking about that if you can see the lock over here right here so this is a lock these were actually two different locks and they ended up thinning out. And as they thinned out, I wanted to save them. So I combined them by twisting them together into a two strand twist. And then I started interlocking them. So if you see, this portion is what I've interlocked so far. And then they split because they were two different locks. So I'm either going to have to crochet them together, I don't know, use a locking tool or I'll just keep twisting them just like this. This is what I've been doing so far. So I'm not really sure what I wanna do with my hair. I think I'm gonna just braid my hair back. That seems to work out pretty well. So what I'll start off by doing is trying to figure out how I'm gonna part my hair. So one of the mistakes that I have made through this journey is pulling my hair too tight. I'm getting better at handling my hair a little bit more carefully, but it doesn't always happen. So I think I'm just going to do four braids just to make things easier. Whenever I plan out my styles, I don't really have anything in mind. I kind of just start and go with the flow. I go with what I feel like. Let's start by talking about the second mistake that I've made throughout my journey is overconsumption of content. I feel like I am a person who always needs to get information about things as you can see and i'm just braiding i know there's the way where people usually do that overlap method but i constantly like to inform myself about things which is not bad but if i didn't spend so much time researching people's lock journeys and different lock textured hair and people's experiences I think I probably would have started my journey a lot sooner than I ended up starting it and even now I feel like I spent a lot of time on the internet looking at other people's lock journeys just to see how their hair is progressing so as you can see right now I have braided down two sections and as I braid the other two I'm gonna talk to you about the other mistakes that I've made one I think I overcomplicated the process I started looking for products and what to use on my hair and what's really worked for me is literally just bottled water mixture of rose water sometimes tea tree oil and um, sometimes I'll take olive oil or grapeseed oil and put it through my hair if I need more moisture. But other than that, there's not much to it. So I should never have compli overcomplicated the process. Locks are supposed to provide a, a lifestyle of freedom. So if you find yourself just doing way too much, obviously don't neglect your hair, but if you find yourself doing way more than you did when you had natural hair, then there's 
possibly something wrong. Next is, I should not have neglected my hair. I know I just talked about doing too much with your hair, but I could have done a better job at making sure that it was wrapped at night, making sure that I had a regimen, making sure that I knew what products to use for my hair. Even when using natural products, I think some work better more than others. And then something else I wish I didn't do to was pull on my hair, especially when my hair was shorter. I feel like you want to put your hair up in styles and and you're tempted to try and force your hair into a ponytail. At least I was. I was tempted to try and get my hair in a ponytail. I don't really like wearing my hair down. I just started wearing it down recently. But I feel like putting it up prematurely really messed with my edges, as you can see. I am probably going to go on a period of time where I'm not going to put my hair up just to give my edges some time. Something else that I wish I did was trust my ability to learn about my hair and trust my journey. I think oftentimes we look to people to give us their magic routine or magic products that they're using, but there's never really a guarantee that what work for somebody else will work for you. I mean, of course, get tips. That's how I've gotten to where I am right now, but also trust what you're finding out about your hair. You might learn something new that other people don't really know. So I'm gonna twist this. So we're almost done with this style. Those are some of the mistakes that I've made, but I think throughout the journey, I've had a really great time just getting to learn more about my hair. I think what's really exciting is the fact that I actually can see my hair growing. I don't know if I've ever had any protective style or if there's ever been a time in my, throughout my hair, my hair journey, my hair's life, where I could see that growth. So locks have really enabled me to see that my hair can grow well. And because even with locks, I remember in the beginning when my hair would be too dry, I would literally run my hands through my hair and get strands of hair. And it would break off, especially when it would start when I started locking it. If I didn't moisturize it as often as it needed to be moisturized, it would break off as I would run my hands through it. So definitely care for your hair. It's like I I'm almost done. I don't like loose ends, I don't know why. And of course, every time I style, there has to be that one piece that decides that it does not wanna fit. So what I'm gonna do is just combine everything into a ponytail, again, loosely. And then I'm gonna loop the ponytail. So this is gonna be the end result. I will show you what it looks like.